but it has been an old faithful friend for a while. And there's some stuff out there about SWR and reflected power and how it affects the forward power reading. And quite frankly, I think all y'all are suffering from SWR derangement syndrome. SWR isn't the, the be all and end all, but it is very nice to know. Your radio is happiest at 50 ohms, but it's an antenna system that is more than just your radio. So we, we track this stuff really hard and, and we wanna know the SWR of all of our antennas and everything else. But really, if you wanna get right down to brass tacks, you need an SWR meter in the radio, which most of them have. You need one outside of the radio to prove that the one in the radio isn't lying to you. You need one on the other side of your antenna tuner if you have one to see the difference between the front side and the back side of the tuner. And then you need one at the base of your antenna to account for all of your coax losses. And that one's gotta be a remote read. So all your SWR meters need to be taken with a grain of salt. We've said this many times before, but pretty much anything below two to one is gonna be fantastic. And a two to one SWR is like an 11% loss. In the grand scheme of things, it ain't much. 